All right, so <clears throat> I got my machine homed. I have not cut anything yet. I have verified that it will home properly. Get this little, little micrometer here that I have attached to my router. I lowered it down and I'm uh, just around 35. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move it around. <clears throat> I wanna see if it's level or not. Which I was uh, tight on there. So you can see I've already moved it and it is definitely not. even close so you know if you're carving stuff you really want to make sure that your spoil board is level so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a file since this is an E4 it's got a cut area of 24 inches by 24 inches so I'm gonna create a file uh, an easel that's 24 by 24 and I'm going to resurface it so I'm going to jump over to the computer show you how I'm going to create a file to finish the spoil board and then I'll show you the CNC in action all right here we go all right so you just saw me <clears throat> use the micrometer to check my spoil board on the E4 I just assembled and uh, it's off so I want to resurface it before I do any projects so I'm just going to start a new project here I'm going to rename it um, resurface spoil board I could spell today Alright, so we renamed that. Now I know the E4 has a cut area of 24 inches by 24 inches. So I want to change my cut area to that size. The thickness doesn't really matter for this. Alright, so I got 24 by 24. Let me zoom out here so you can see. There's my area, right? So I'm just going to pick a simple square. There it is. Click shape. And I want that to be 24 by 24. Alright, now if you notice it is not zeroed correctly. So I'm going to use bottom left corner and I'm going to zero that one. You notice it comes over on the x-axis and then I'm going to zero the y alright so now I'm right there and my cut area I'm only going to go 0.02 inches alright so very 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 minimal cut depth because right, I don't want to lose too much of my spoil board and you can't really even see it on here, right? Because it's the same size, so. So I'm going to generate the G-code on that. And then I'm going to change the bit size. So I was going to use like a one inch bit, but I'm just curious to see because I don't have it, I was going to order the spoil board bit. I'm just going to see how long it would take if I used my quarter inch, because it's a pretty large bit. How long it would take to cut that. So, three hours and ten minutes. So, I'm going to use a one inch bit on that. Um, let's add a bit in here. Okay. 
I'm just going to name it Spoil Board. It's cut and the diameter is one inches. So we'll save that. And I'm gonna pick the one inch bit. See how long it'll take to cut that. So 46 minutes. And you know that's on the let's take the detail bit out of there. Sorry. So 46 minutes. That's on their automatic recommended. And pass point oh two. Do some manual settings here. I have a cut at 0.02 per pass, which is the depth that we're using. And we're going to up the speed to 70, which I'll probably adjust it faster during the cut. So 20 minutes to resurface that with a one inch bit. A quarter inch bit, hour 22 minutes. So we'll stay with the one inch bit. So 20 minutes. I'm good with that. And then we're done. Uh, when that's done, we'll just have to sand the edges of the MDF so that the whole surface is flat. Um, so we can fit, you know, larger work pieces in there. All right, so let's go over to the CNC and uh, see it in action.